Hello, sports fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke. And today I have the second to last, yes, this is the second to last uh, matchup in the first round of my round robin elimination tournament of good teams from the past versus bad teams from the past, and then the winner advancing to the next round. And Today is a very special matchup. Today will be the 1984 San Diego Padres who won the National League pennant but lost to the, the Tigers in the World Series against the 1993 Florida Marlins. I believe that was their second year in existence and they were 64 and 98. And I would have gotten their first year, but I don't know what happened to my Marlins of 1992. And I'm pretty sure 92 was their first season, but maybe not. But anyway, this Marlins was 64 and 98, and they were bad. So, um, we are going to play that Marlins team against the pennant-winning Padres, who were a team that I really liked. I liked a lot of the players on the team. And uh, I was very fond of the 84 Padres. So we will be getting underway with that. Um, again, the ground rules, there's no DH uh, because that it's easier for me to run the game and not make mistakes if I don't have a DH to worry or a pitcher bat and, you know, batting for the pitcher and replacing him and all of that stuff. And... Um, and it's a best of three series. So, uh, whoever went the first team to wins two games, they advance to the next round. And as I said, this is the second to last. This is the last. It's the last National League matchup. And then I just have one more American League matchup, and then we're on to the second round. So, with all of that said and out of the way, let's get on with this. Florida visiting the uh, the the. The 1993 Florida Marlins visiting the 84 Padres. And they will lead off with Chuck Carr. And pitching today on the mound for the Padres is Eddie Whitson. And he will deal to Carr. And that's a 5-3. And that's a ground ball to the pitcher. Whitson, this was before they put the ratings on the card. So Whitson's considered to be a 2. And that's going to be a one-base error by Ed Whitson. And Chucky Carr is aboard. So he gets on. There's an air by Whitson. And that could be costly because Carr is a double-A stealer and he's going to second. And they're not even waiting. I don't even, that was undeterminable. And that's an 18 and Carr is gunned because we have at catcher. Well, I mean, really, in the, uh, yeah, I mean, Terry Kennedy. So Carr gets gunned out trying to steal. Unlikely as it is, it happens. So now there's one down. But that's the kind of thing this Marlins team is going to have to do. Henry Cotto is up next. He gets a 6-6, which is a fly ball to center. That's two away. And that brings up Jeff Conine. And he gets a 3-7, which is a single. So you would have had runners on first and second, or first and third, Possibly, had uh, Carr not tried to steal, and at least first and second. And Gary Sheffield's up, and that's a 5-5, and it's a pop-out to shortstop. So, it probably was not that costly for the Marlins, for the Fish, because they probably wouldn't have scored, but you never know. That brings up Alan Huwiggins to lead off for the Padres, and he is batting against Charlie Huff for the Florida Marlins. And that's a 3-7, which is a walk. So Alan Huwiggins gets aboard with a walk. Huff walks the man, and that brings up... And now Alan Wiggins, he is a double-A stealer, and he will try it. And he makes it. That's a six. There ain't no catcher uh, alive that's going to gun him out for that. Um, so 
So he steals second and Tony Gwynn's up. And that's a 2-4 and that's a ground ball to the first baseman A. One away. So Gwynn is retired by Huff. Wiggins still at second and Steve Garvey up. And that's a 6-3 which is a strikeout. For a strikeout of the day for Huff. And Kevin McReynolds is up. And he gets a 210, which is a line out to second. And that is, I believe, the side. And as you'll recall, I think uh, McReynolds was on the 80, 86 Mets. So if the 86 Mets end up facing the Padres in the next round, we will have to determine what we would do with Kevin McReynolds. Um. And whatever that is, I'm sure it's going to be a great decision. But anyway, we go to the top of the second with Florida up. Arrestus Destrada is up, and he gets a 5-10. And 5-10 is a home run 1-13 by Arrestus Destrada. And he jacks it out. That one goes all the way back. And Arrestus Destrada has a home run for the fish. And Whitson finds himself down. By the score of one nothing, pretty early, and that brings up Dave Magadan, and Dave Magadan gets a six seven, which is a ground ball to the second baseman, and that's Wiggins, and he's a three, and that's going to be an out. So Magadan's out. Brings up Brett Barbary. Put another fish on the Barbie. Put another shrimp on the Barbie. Six, uh, four, yeah, five, six is a fly ball to right field. He's out. And that brings up Benito. Uncle Benito Santiago gets a ground ball to the shortstop. And the shortstop is a two, and that's Gary Templeton. And that might be something. It is a two-base air by Gary Templeton. So Benito gets aboard with a two-base air. And now the, uh, the Padres have already committed two airs here. And Walt Weiss is up and he gets a 3-4, which is a pop-out to first. And that ends the inning for... The Marlins and but they do get a run. Arrestus Destrada goes deep and gives the Marlins a one nothing lead. That brings up Greg Nettles for the Padres facing Huff in the second. Four six is a line out to first, one away. And up steps Carmelo Martinez and he gets a one seven which is a ground ball to third and he's out. And that brings up Gary Templeton. Gary Templeton with a fly ball to right. He's retired and they go one, two, three. Huff gets out of the second quickly and hands it back over to his uh, lineup to go out and face Whitson and try to get him some more runs with Chuck Carr at the top of the lineup and he gets a ground ball A and he's out to second base. Yeah. Henry Cotto gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to center, and he's out. And that brings up Jeff Conine. And Jeff Conine gets a 5-4, and that's a fly ball to right. And now looks like both pitchers have settled down a little bit after having had some uh, butterflies early. And now the Padres lineup comes up with Terry Kennedy. And that is a 5'11", ground ball, first base, one away. Luis Salazar comes up, he gets a 3-4, and he strikes out. That is the second strikeout for Huff, who hasn't allowed a hit yet, even. Alan Wiggins is up, and he gets a 2-9, which is a fly ball to the uh, left fielder, and he is out. So... Um, that will do it for the Padres in the third. We go to the top of the fourth with Gary Sheffield. And that's a 4-5 
Ground ball second base, one away. Of course, Sheffield and Conine were the beginnings of the Florida Marlins World Series team that they started to put together probably this early in their development. Arrestus Destrada gets a 6-9, which is a single. So he homered last time, and this time he singles. They just can't solve Destrada. Third hit allowed by Whitson, and Dave Magadan's up, and he gets a 4-11 is a ground ball to the shortstop and that's Templeton he's a two that is a 19 that could be something it is a one base error Templeton makes his second error of the game the usually sure-handed and reliable Templeton makes yet another error and now instead of being out of the inning on a possible double play or at least having two outs they have one out and runners at uh, first and second, and that's a 6-5, which is a walk to Brett Barbary, and now the bases are loaded with fish. And uh, you don't want to see that. Whitson already in a lot of trouble here. Bases loaded, one away, Benito up, and he gets a 1-5, which is a walk, and knocks in another run. Or, yes, knocks in another run for the fish because that's their second one. And there's going to be some action in the Padre bullpen. Yeah, let's see who they're going to get up. Who would it be appropriate to get up? Uh, they are going to get Mark Thurmond up in the bullpen. And since this would be a long relief situation, and Walt Weiss is up, he gets a 4-4, which is a ground ball to third. That's Nettles. Nettles is, a, I believe, a 2 at third base. That's a 20, which will be a roll again. That's a 19, which is a roll again. And that's a 6, which is a double play. So they finally do get out of the inning. Um, but... Another run comes across on a bases loaded walk. And we go to the bottom of the fourth. And Tony Gwynn up. He gets a 1 6, which is a ground ball to third. That's one away. Gwynn still looking for a, for a hit. And uh, Garvey with a 5-6 is a fly ball to uh, the center fielder, so he's out. And Kevin McReynolds gets a 3-9, and that's a strikeout. And Huff, amazingly, Huff has still to allow a hit here as we go to the top of the fifth. And Chuck Carr is up. Back to the top of the order. 4-6 is a ground ball to short. That's Templeton, and that's an 8. So this time Templeton makes the play. One away, Henry Cotto gets a 3-7, which is a strikeout. And Jeff Conine gets a 6-8, which is a single one to 14. And that is going to be instead a line out to first base, and Conine is out. We go to the bottom of the fifth. Two nothing, Marlins. Greg Nettles is up at the plate. He gets a three twelve, and that's a home run for Greg Nettles. Gone. That's the first hit, the first run, the first really signs of life for the Marlins. Hit allowed, home run, earned run. So there's Huff's first hit and it's a crazy one. Carmelo Martinez gets a 4-10. That's a fly ball to center. Chuck Carr is a 1 in center field. So that's an out. Carmelo Martinez out. 
up steps Gary Templeton. He gets a 4-5, which is a strikeout to away. So Huff goes right back to getting him out after Nettles briefly pops one out of the park. And that's a 5-7, which is a pop-out to short. And Kennedy getting the, uh, the pop-out to the shortstop. But San Diego does strike for a run, keeping the game very close. Um, and they will keep uh, Whitson out there. Thurman is now loosening, but uh, very slowly, a lot more slowly. And we've got Sheffield up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a single. So they didn't sit him down, and that's a good thing because this could be trouble. With Sheffield getting on, fourth hit allowed. It's only the fourth hit allowed by Whitson. Arrestus Destrada gets a 1 5, which is a strikeout. One away. Only the second strikeout for Whitson, though. And Dave Magadan's up, and he gets a 1-2, which is a pop-out to second. And so that is the uh, Marlins being retired. We go to the bottom of the sixth. Still 2-1. And at this point, they're going to sit Thurman down because they're, not, they're no longer really in Thurman territory. And Salazar steps up to the plate, not to mention the score is only 2-1. And he gets a 1-7, which is a pop-out. One away. And uh, that was a pop-out to second. Alan Wiggins, Alan Wiggins. Gets a triple one to six or a single. And that's going to be a triple. So now you got a man 90 feet away and the... Marlins definitely want to bring the infield in. I, I'm not a big fan of bringing the infield in, but this is a very tight game. And the Marlins are not showing that they can really score um, any, any more prolifically than um, the Padres have shown that. So, infield in, Tony Gwynn up. He gets a 3-10, which is a single one asterisk and knocks in the run anyway. That's Gwynn's first hit, and it results in an RBI and a tie game. And Steve Garvey up. He gets a 5-4, which is a fly ball right field seed. So that's two away. Is it? Garvey, let's see. Yeah, it is. Salazar was first out. So McReynolds is up, and that's a 3-6, and that's a ground ball shortstop, and that will be the inning. But the Padres strike for another run and tie the game at 2. And that brings up Brett Barbary. Put another shrimp on the Barbary. 5-9 is a triple 1-4 to four or a double. Maybe they sat Thurman a little too early, Magadan with a... Um, or no, Barbary, Barbary with a double. And so now they will get Greg Booker up in the bullpen. Benito Santiago strikes out, one away. So used to him being on the Padres. I was looking for him on the Padres. Walt Weiss gets a 3-12, which is a foul out to the catcher. Two away. And with two down and a man at second is Chuck Carr. And he gets a 1-4, which is a line out to shortstop. No runs for the fish, despite a leadoff double by Brett Barbary in that inning. So that brings us to the bottom of the seventh. Greg Nettles up. He gets a 2-11, which is a walk. Greg Nettles doing a little bit of damage here. Home run, and he gets on by a walk. Carmelo Martinez gets a 1-7, which is a ground ball third base B. So now Carmelo Martinez is in first and the uh, fielder's choice. Gary Templeton up. He gets a 4-6. That's a single. 
So now the Padres have two aboard. Fourth hit allowed by Huff. And Terry Kennedy up, and he gets 3-8, which is a home run 1-14. to This could put the game away, probably. And it does. Terry Kennedy with a three-run homer. I mean, I'm not. I'm calling it right now. I mean, you can sit at home and say, oh, you know, the, the Marlins could come back. But no, I don't think so. So that's going to make the score 5-2 uh, to two, Padres. And that brings up Luis Salazar, who gets a 3-7, which is a single. Sixth hit allowed by Huff, and Allen Wiggins up, and that's a 5-10, which is a fly ball to center, so there's two down. And Tony Gwynn at the plate, 6-7, which is a ground ball to second. The second baseman is, um, is Barbary, and he's a 4. And that's a 15 and a 4, at second is, a, is an out, so... Gwyn is out. Barbary retires him. But the Padres get three big runs right there and now lead 5-2. to two. And uh, Whitson, for his part, he pitched 189 innings that year. So I think he's good to keep going. No, you know what? They're not going to do that. They're not going to do that. Um, Whitson is going to come out. He's pitched seven innings. Booker was warming up, as I had said earlier, and they will bring in Greg Booker. So, Booker on to pitch for the Marlins, or for the uh, Padres, in the uh, eighth inning. And facing Henry Cotto. And he gets a 6-5, which is a double one to six or a single. And that would have been an out on Whitson. So, but that's a single. That is a single for Cato. And that brings up Jeff Conine. And Conine gets a strikeout. One away. Gary Sheffield comes in. He gets a 6-12, which is a fly ball to right. Or no, left. Fly ball to left field, and he's out. And that brings up Arrestus Destrada. He gets a 4-10, ground ball, third base, X. That is a 2, that's Nettles. That is an 18, and that's going to be an out. So Arrestus Destrada is out. We go to the bottom of the 8th. And there's going to be a new pitcher for the Marlins as well. Huff only goes seven. Seven on impressive innings. He gave up six hits only, but he walked two and gave up two homers and five earned runs. And they will bring in um, Rich Rodriguez. He's going to come on to pitch for the Marlins. And he'll deal to uh, he'll deal with Steve Garvey to lead off. And that's two seven, which is a single. So Garvey is aboard with a hit. Kevin McReynolds is up. He gets a 5-2, which is a walk. So now they get two guys on immediately. Greg Nettles gets a 1-7. That's a pop out to second. That's one away. 
Carmelo Martinez gets a 3-4, which is a walk, and now the Padres are clogging the bases. And Gary Templeton's up, and he gets a 2-8, which is a triple 1-2 to two or a single level asterisk. And that is a triple. That's a bases-clearing triple for, uh, for Gary Templeton. Rich Rodriguez was not the elixir that they were looking for. And there's only one out and a man 90 feet away for Terry Kennedy. And he gets a 210, which is a ground ball. First base A, which is, that makes it two away. And Luis Salazar gets a 1-4, and that's a home run 1-5 to five or a fly ball. And that's going to be a, no, it, yes, it is a home run. Home run for Luis Salazar. He hits a two-run homer. And Rich Rodriguez is like, man, why did they have to bring me in? Five runs already now for the Padres in this inning alone. And that brings up Alan Wiggins, who lines out to first base. And that ends the... Uh, Padres there, but they score five huge runs. And now it is 10 to 2. And the Marlins are going to need eight runs right here in the top of the ninth with Magadan leading them out. 2 10, fly ball to center. The center fielder is a, I don't think that's come up, McReynolds, and he's a 1. So that's an out. So Magadan goes down. Brett Barbary gets a 2 9, which is a home run one or a fly ball. And that's going to be a fly ball to the right fielder, and he's out. And that brings up Benito. Uncle Benito gets a 5 8, and that's going to be a fly ball to center. And Benito Santiago is the last out of this first game between the 84 Padres and the uh, 93 Marlins and it results in a 10 to 2 butt whooping although early it looked like it would be a nice tight game but that did not prove to be the case as the game went on and so that is the final here 10 2 in game one San Diego over Florida we will see you for game two. That's it for me, Sportsman Z, signing off.